The leader of the Lugansk People's Republic, Igor Plotnitsky, has thrown down the gauntlet to the Ukrainian president, Petro Poroshenko, pledging that the one who wins will set his terms for ending the bloody conflict in the region. I suggest you consider just one, but a very good scenario, Plotnitsky wrote in an open letter to Poroshenko. Let's get together in a fight. Whoever wins will dictate terms to the opposite side. Russia is convinced that NATO's reckless and incessant expansion is a mistake that undermines security and stability in Europe, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said Wednesday. We are convinced and we spoke about it from the very beginning of this historical period, that reckless and incessant NATO expansion is a mistake that undermines stability in Europe, Lavrov said after talks with his Hungarian counterpart Peter Zsijarto. The Ukrainian government affirmed the decision to unliterally demarcate the border with Russia on Wednesday, Astap Simirak, a Ukrainian cabinet minister, said after a government meeting. The decision was adopted with certain corrections. Instructions were given to work out relevant measures, Simirak said. Russia is concerned over the US representative's inability to specify the time frame of the closure of the controversial US naval base and prison at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, housing more than 100 terrorism suspects, the Russian Foreign Ministry said on Wednesday. The ministry also expressed concern over the fact that the US side is reluctant to investigate the involvement of Central Intelligence Agency operatives in torturing the inmates. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive up-to-date news on situation in Ukraine.